Hey guys, I know it's been a little while since I've been over here to record a video and give you guys any updates on what's been going on with Terry. I know a lot of you guys are following on Facebook, so you've been able to keep up, but there's still some of you guys that are not on Facebook. So I figured I would take a few minutes out of my, my day here of getting ready to leave the state because of this insane hurricane that is about to hit um, and catch up with you guys. So uh, Terry was moved. Um, in the last video, I believe I remember telling you guys that he got transferred. He was approved. We got very, very lucky. He got a moved to a camp that is like an hour and a half away from where I live at. Um, and if you followed the videos from before, it was three and a half to four hour drive there for me to go and see him. So I got very, very lucky and he has made it to a place where it's going to be a lot easier for me to go visit him. I'm able to visit him um, twice a weekend which makes the weeks go by even like faster for both of us. Um, he has completely settled in where he's at. He is at a work camp. He's not at a main camp. So he was, he was able to go out and work, but now with his foot situation like it is, the doctor has taken him back off. So um, the, the camp is really different. It's a lot slower. There's a lot less inmates in there. There's no stupidity going on there um, because to be put in a camp like that, it's almost like a privilege. Um, and the guys that are in there are kind of past all the stupidity. They just want to serve their time out because some of them are getting ready to come home, you know. So um, my experience of going and visiting this camp was unlike any, any camp that I've been to um, to visit him. They were very respectful. It wasn't a long line for me to get in. Um, I've been going and visiting him so much that I've pretty much gotten used to the rules and the routine, you know, and basically they just don't want you to bring anything in there and just be considerate, you know what I mean? So, um, good visits. He has got his smile back. He is, um, just really calm now after all of everything that he had to go through, you know, down south. So I have pictures here. This is going to be a short video. Um, I don't have a lot of space on my phone to record a very long one. Um, but I'll share the pictures with you guys real quick. This was the first picture that I got from our first visit <clears throat> after he got moved there. Then I was real sick this past weekend, y'all. Like, it was horrible. I had some kind of a nasty virus, so I look really bad in this picture, but it's okay. This is the other one. Um, that smile is just priceless for him. And if I went too fast, just hit pause and you can get a better look at it. And this is the one from Sunday when I went to see him. And he just had to have it with the Looney Tune wall behind us. Like, I don't even know. On the back of it, I don't know if you want to pause it. Um, and you, you can read that. I hope it's not going to show up backwards. But he is so crazy, y'all. Like, I've definitely got him back and he's in good spirits. Um, I have fully recovered from the procedure that I had. I've had a lot of people ask questions um, of what I had done over here. Just send me a message on Facebook and I can get you in touch with um, the... I, I can let you know, you know, what the procedure was that they did. <clears throat> I have not had any migraines since this procedure. Um, I did have a lot of panic attacks, um, so I did go and get put on medication that seems to be working like wonderfully. I uh, can't even, I feel a hundred times better than I did after, you know, the certain, well, it was a procedure, outpatient procedure, but I do, I feel a whole lot better, a whole, whole lot better. Um, other than that, we are bracing for the storm. Um, the roads here are very, very, very congested and full right now. There is a lot of traffic coming from down south. Just to get from my house to the stop sign to the main highway, which is Highway 19, it's an, it's ridiculous. You cannot even get past, like, it's bumper to bumper. It took me, like, 11 minutes for a three-mile drive down the road. So, um, not sure exactly what time tonight we're going to be leaving, but I've got a friend of mine that's in uh, Alabama, and we are going to go up and stay with her until this is all over with. I hope that I have a home standing when I come back. We are in the process also of moving from here. So it's just bad timing with Miss Irma. You know what I mean? So if any of you guys are in the path of this storm, you definitely want to get out of Florida if you're able to. And if not, take advantage of the shelters because it's going to be really bad. You know, this place, it's just, it's a beast. That storm is a beast, you know. So Terry's doing good. I am doing great. I can't, I can't, I can't complain. You know what I mean? I had a lot of side effects from, um, 
you know, the procedure and, but the migraines are gone and that's really, really good. So been th I've been spending a lot of time working on journals, um, a lot of journal covers, a lot of pages, a lot of paper crafting, and it's brand new to me, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, get on Instagram. I just got my Instagram back up. If you guys want to see some of the stuff that I'm posting, I will try to remember to post some of my projects over there as well as on Facebook. And I will get in touch with you guys after this storm is over. Um, be safe wherever you are. I love you guys. Thanks for the support over here. Um, and I, you know, like with Terry, it's the same thing. He can't say thank you enough for all the prayers and the support. You know, it's, it's, it's very humbling for him, you know, so I will see you guys on Facebook. I hope that I didn't talk too fast. I hope you're able to follow little jacked up, got the coffee back in me. So, um, I will get in touch with you guys after this storm passes and you guys be safe. I love y'all and I will see you guys on Facebook. I'll talk to you later. Bye.